Work experience personally for me mean, means a greater insight to medicine and the career that I love the most. So that's a personal thing for me and I believe Medic Mental have achieved that. But I don't think any other program is anywhere near to what this is. And the fact that it's free as well means that nobody is at a disadvantage and it's available to everyone. The online one gives me access to some things that I might not have got in real life. For example, I, remember, I distinctly remember on one of the first sessions, um, we looked at an MDT meeting and looked at how they discussed the patient. And I don't think uh, in real life I wouldn't have been able to experience that. So it's given me some key insights into being a doctor as well. So there were other virtual work experiences that I've attended, but none of them were virtual live, um, actually seeing procedures, seeing uh, GP consultations. Uh, there were just really courses and answering questions, whereas this was watching a live consultation um, and each session entailed of different aspects of medicine. I think I've gained a proper understanding of what it means to be a doctor. Um, there are ton, we've gone through tons and tons of good qualities of what it means to be a doctor. So the programme has given me a lot of insight um, into medicine as a whole, that it's not just surgery, not just GP, um, there's lots of other aspects and it's not an easy job to be a doctor and there is a lot of things that you need to know to be a doctor. Uh, I never thought about the dynamics between the old doctors. Um, even though it, I think it's a really important part. I never thought about that and seeing all the doctors coming together to actually uh, solve the, just one issue of a patient, I think it's really amazing. My favorite session so far has been the surgery session as personally I'm captivated by surgery and this work experience has given me, me an opportunity to experience, experience it firsthand. And I also really enjoyed the panel of female surgeons they were speaking about how they'd overcome stereotypes and working in a really male-dominated specialty and I found that really empowering. Uh, my favourite session so far has been the surgery session and um, it might be everyone's favourite session. I've never experienced anything like it. It was absolutely amazing. I mean obviously the coolest has to be the keyhole surgery which is amazing but I think to be honest my favourite was the uh, GP one because, well, from a young age, really, whenever I was sick, I had like a cough or cold, I'd just go to a GP. So I always had this preconceived idea that GPs were just for coughs and colds, but they really opened my eyes to what uh, like being a GP really means. And we looked, at uh, we looked at quite a few cases. So my favorite session, I think it was the one of the pregnant lady, uh, because uh, first of all, because I would either want to be like a gynecologist or a pediatrician. Uh, so I thought it was really interesting just to have like a general point of view. Being able to see um, from when the woman came in to the first midwife appointment, when she found out she was pregnant, to the GP appointments right after childbirth, the whole way through, that was really amazing. Exceeding my expectations the most was probably the one-to-one -one interaction, because compared to most work experiences, you can't ask too many questions to the doctors as they're always busy talking to patients however with this one I feel like I could ask more questions on the Slido chats and they did address it in detail. So the breakout rooms were really helpful I think because they explained a little bit more what they were happening because of course we're not doctors so uh, we need to be explained what's happening. So in the GP one they followed through a complete treatment plan with the person which you wouldn't have been able to see over a week of work experience in person at a hospital so you got to see like real connections between doctor and patient and nurses and patient be developed. After the work experience, yes, I feel like I can go into the profession knowing the positives and negatives. Uh, this work experience has shown me both sides, so it's a good sign that I still want to be a doctor. I think it gave me a lot of insight of actually what's happening in a hospital, like really, because of course we see TV series, but they are not like really real. It helps me, it helps me know what skills I have to develop in order to be a good doctor. Oh, it's really helped my motivation because I didn't really have a reference point to like what I was going to do. And so this has given me like a really good one where I've been able to see how everybody works together in it. It helped me gain a greater knowledge and a greater insight into those ethics. So for my overall UCAS application, the reflective diary has been quite useful. And for me, I need to write notes, otherwise I would forget when it comes to writing my personal statement and that diary lays out the information perfectly for me. Talk us through what's happened and then that gives you time 
to write in your reflective diary. And it's got stuff on the Gibbs reflective cycle. So it's like properly showing you how to reflect in an effective way. Like I've, I've said this many times, but I literally, I have learned so much. But honestly, everybody is so grateful and everyone from my school that's done it. And I know people like I've seen on all the messages on the Slack channel, like it is honestly amazing that we have this opportunity and that it is really honestly amazing. So thank you. We saw the hard work that they have done and how passionate they were about it. Um, so I think they did an amazing job.